Baby. All right, welcome back to another video, guys. Uh, today we are going to be hooking up the uh, UI for our rating system. Uh, so we got a lot to do in this video, so let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing we need to do, we need to go to our leader stats script, and we're going to need to add a folder, uh, a ratings folder. Uh, so this will hold all of our ratings that we will eventually um, use in our game uh, to, uh, to to play better, to, to improve our shot accuracy, our shot power, and we're also going to have speed. So let's uh, do a local ratings equals instance dot new folder. And we want to parent this to leader stats. And we want to say ratings dot name equals ratings with a capital R. All right. Um, now let's come down here and comment the section for ratings. And we want to say local speed equals instance dot new number value and we want to parent this to ratings all right underneath that we want to say speed not spawn speed dot name equals speed with a capital s and underneath 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 that we need to get a all right let's uh okay so we need to get a normalized value for the speed and by that what i mean is we're gonna have a minimum speed and a maximum speed we, we're gonna have to set that uh somewhere in our game and then we want to normalize that on a scale from zero to 100. So basically we want to like let's say the the minimum speed is going to be uh, 16 and we'll say the maximum speed will be 32 so let's say our player uh ha is rated 50 he's uh, 50 on a scale of 0 to 100 for speed uh, so that's going to be halfway between 16 and 32 which would be 24. so what i'm saying is we got to normalize our speed rating on a on a scale from zero to 100 and so the way we're going to do that is we're going to say local speed normalized equals instance dot new number value comma uh, parent this to speed We want the name of this speed normalized. We want it to just be normalized. All right, let's set the uh, speed normalized value to zero because we, we, we want it completely on zero. And if we, uh, in the future we'll implement the saving and loading uh and it'll overwrite override the zero um yeah value zero and then so here's the magic for converting the speed uh normalized into an actual value that can be used in game so we're going to say speed dot value. Notice we haven't set the speed value yet. We're waiting until we get the normalized value. Um, yeah, speed value equals three parentheses. Speed normalized dot value times max uh, we haven't done this yet we need to uh we need to come back to this 
and up here at the top well first we need to go to our replicated storage we need to create a folder for minimum ratings or min ratings and we need to create uh some number values we need to create some number values in our minimum ratings uh we'll call this speed and not pass shot accuracy and got power all right we want to duplicate this and name it max ratings and that's it so we can actually this will be good uh we can basically tweak uh, the game settings for you know maximum and minimum shot power and without the player sacrificing any progress that they've made so like let's say someone's got a maxed out shot power and it's like okay that's way too high like they're they're shooting it way too high we can co or way too far i mean we can come in here and adjust the maximum shot power and bring it down and it'll actually bring it down for the player in the game while uh uh while while they still have maxed out shot power i hope that makes sense i don't know um all right so uh yeah we need to come up here now since we have added those values in replicated storage let's get a reference to our uh, replicated storage and let's get a reference to the uh minimum speed min ratings speed local let's also get one for the local max speed okay back down here speed dot value speed normalized value times max speed dot value go outside this parentheses space minus space then we have speed normalized dot value times minimum speed dot value going outside two parentheses space flash 100 outside the last parentheses space multiply no sorry space plus minimum speed dot value all right so underneath that line we will say local now we need to get uh we need to create a value for the upgrade cost or how much it's going to cost to upgrade our speed um so it's going to be uh going to be dynamic so it's going to increase like the more you upgrade speed then the more expensive it will become to upgrade speed so uh, let me just show you local speed upgrade cost equals instance dot new number value comma speed All right, we need to set the name of the speed upgrade cost. 
dot name equals upgrade cost speed upgrade cost dot value equals speed normalized dot value plus one multiplied by let's create a variable for this uh which will be up upgrade cost multiplier so this will be a game settings let's create a folder in our replicated storage let's call it game settings let's create a number value in game settings and this will be upgrade cost multiplier uh let's set the value to i don't know five let's come up here and let's Set the uh, upgrade cost multiplier equals RS game settings uh, upgrade cost multiplier. Come down here and we will say upgrade cost multiplier. All right, so that should do it for our leader stats for the speed rating. Now we haven't done the, the uh, pass, um, why well, I keep saying pass, the shot accuracy or the shot power. Uh, we have not done that yet, but we're just going to do speed first and then we'll come back and do the other two. But I want y'all to wrap your head around what we're doing on just one first, one, one rating, uh, instead of doing them all at once. So now, let's go back over here and there is something else we need to create for our GUI uh that is we need a button to open up this screen and we need a back button to uh get out of this screen um we'll do that afterwards actually yeah we'll, we'll do that afterwards We're, we don't need to do that right now uh we can just start like this um okay so we need to go to our starter gui we need to go to our ratings gui Let's create a local script. This will just be called our ratings GUI. All right, so we are just going to dive in on this. Uh, just do as I do. If you're following along, I'm going to fast forward this video uh, to speed along this process. Uh, so, yeah, just follow along uh let's crank out some code All right, we need to uh, create some uh, some of a remote event. We'll need to create several, but since we're just focusing on speed right now, just create one, and uh, this will be called update update speed.
So we are actually going to do a, a back button and upgrade button really quick. Uh, so just follow along. Um, yeah, we're just gonna make a make a back button right now actually on the ratings GUI. Uh, All right, it's pretty good. Uh, so let's go back to our ratings GUI. All right, so it looks like we've got it working. Uh, we've got the speed working anyways. Uh, we haven't hooked up the shot power or the shot accuracy, 
but uh, we have this speed working and so pretty much all we got to do now is just copy and paste for the for the uh, shot accuracy and shot uh, power so what I'm doing right now is I want to make sure that it stops at level 100 so I need to get some more money Parts over. If I click save, go back, come in here, starts at one dollar instead of the level that we're at. That's okay. We'll make sure that it's stopping at level one hundred at least. Yep, there we go. Stops at level one hundred. I need to tweak that a little bit. Um, so, okay, why is it starting over, though? Um. I think we also need to update, uh, for our remote event, for the update speed event, I think we also need to upgrade, update the player's uh, upgrade costs. So I believe we come right here and we say player dot leader stats dot ratings speed upgrade costs value equals S uh, game settings uh, upgrade cost multiplier value so every time we update the speed rating uh, we should also update the upgrade cost let's see There we go. So it stops at 100. I think we got everything working for it. Uh, it looks pretty good. Um, we just need to do the shot power and the shot accuracy. which we will go ahead and crank out right now. Alright, we've got it. We've got it in leader stats. Now let's add it. Uh, well, first we need to create some remote events. So we got updates. Duplicate that. We'll call this update uh, accuracy and duplicate and update shot power. So let's go ahead and go to the event handler. 
Build local update shot accuracy. All right, so we made it. Uh, if you followed along, then congratulations. Uh, that was a lot that we did. Um, so yeah, we've got it working. The only thing that we don't have uh, working is uh, it's saving and loading our players' ratings. Uh, we also haven't uh, implemented it into the gameplay to, to where if you actually were to upgrade the speed, it will it'll actually increase the speed of the player in the game. So we haven't hooked that up as well, uh, but we'll be doing that in future videos. So stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.